So let's dig into panel nights because that's why we're here. We're like obviously here yeah. to get to know you yeah. more, but I'm super interested in your, in, in your business. It's like blown up mm. in the UK particularly. And also like you completely pivoted it during the pandemic and all those things. Yeah. So you were 19 when you founded it. Like, first of all, why on earth did you think of ice creams in a yeah. truck? Like where did the idea even come? Because it's a very unique concept. Yeah, so uh, me and my mate were traveling, you know, after my second year of uni, we went around Thailand. After you dropped out. <laughs> no, no, so I actually, no, no you're going you're gonna to get to know this. So I, I hadn't dropped out at that point. It was literally the day after my last exam, the summer exam, we went to Thailand for a two week like holiday, um, backpacking holiday. And yeah, we were, we were in Koh Phi Phi and um, we were basically yeah, in Koh Phi Phi. We were really quite intoxicated. And we stumbled across that there's like this on the side of one of these streets, like these small little streets, there was like this stand and it had a massive crowd of people around it. So instantly we were like drawn drawn to it. Um, and we when we first got there, we had no idea what this thing was. It was just we, we thought it was like crepes or yeah, we didn't understand what was going on, like we had never seen this. Crepes in Thailand. You're yeah. like, what is going on? <laughs> yeah, we, and like but yeah, well the, the, we stayed for a bit, we watched it and then we realised, you know, this guy's making ice cream. Um and then we literally looked at each other and said, "Like this is like, look at the crowd of people. This is so cool. Like why is this not in the UK?" Mm. Um, and from that moment onwards, honestly, it was like we were fixated by this this idea of bringing this product back to the UK. And it kind of actually started in Thailand. Like we saw it that night. The following nights, we then kept going back to the same stand to try like better understand like how it worked, what it is. We were trying to like take pictures of like, you know, the, the machine to try and understand how it happened because we're gonna have to find it when we get back to the UK. Try and take pictures like the mix, um, the, the stuff they pour in the pan because we, again, like all of this was like, we didn't really understand what was going on. Um, but yeah, I mean, it was, it was found, it was by complete accident, we just found this idea. And then honestly, from that moment onwards, I dropped out of university the next day. Um, it sounds like it's so made up, but I dropped out of university. Honestly, I remember sending the email to my tutor at university on the beach. Like, I was just on the beach, and I just said, so I'm not, I'm not coming back. Um, boom, that was it. And then, yeah, it was penalised from that day onwards. No plan B? Not really a plan B. Um, no, not at all. I was, even if, as I said earlier, even if I didn't find penalised, I really think I was going to drop out anyway. I still, to this day, don't even know what my results were for university. <laughs> like, my second year results, I never, like, I never opened, I, I, like, opened up the email. Um... I knew, yeah, I just didn't really care about uni anymore. If I if I wasn't going to do Pan and Ice, I probably would have dropped out and then probably gone and sat in my uncle's office or another entrepreneur and just started, like, absorbing their their ways. Um, do something towards entrepreneurialism. Because just before I went to Thailand as well, I started reading more entrepreneur, entrepreneurial books and started really started getting into that zone of wanting to be an entrepreneur. So you go to Thailand, you discover mm. ice cream rolls. What happens next? So then whilst we're there, um, we found ice cream rolls about mid, towards the end of our holiday. So we had like, a few more days in Thailand. So whilst there though, we um, kind of like spent the last, I think it was the last two days just basically realizing. So we went to, we, we went to Thailand in June. Um, we realized that obviously we're bringing this back to the UK. UK, you can't, it's hard to sell ice cream in winter. Um, so most of the year let's be honest. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, as we found out. Um, so the, the rest of the holiday, we kind of like, figured out right we got to get a logo the normal things again we didn't know how to run a business so we just like doing the very simple things like we need a logo a name um so we we kind of like did our some sketches and sent them to a friend of ours who was like a graphic designer like really good at drawings um some some of the original ideas were hilarious like the, we had like a flying cow with like holding spatulas um with like a helicopter like he had like a helicopter above his head it was really weird like he's a flying <laughs> so weird we had like loads of cool ideas and then we had to think of a name so funnily enough the way the name the name came from i knew of a company called ice pan okay but it didn't do the same thing it's in america i don't really know how i knew this company i think i just saw it on instagram or something but it's called ice pan it was a similar concept they made like ice cream on a on a frozen surface but like not into rolls like Cold Stone. It's similar to Cold Stone. It's similar to Cold Stone, but it was actually different. That company's now the um, Ice Pan's now gone. I don't know what, what's happened to them, but I literally just flipped the flipped the words around. I just thought Ice. I know this company called Ice Pan. Um, and I flipped the words around. Pan Ice. Pan and Ice. There wasn't really much thought in it. We were so naive, which I think honestly is a really good skill trait to have when you're starting a business. Like being naive. Don't think of it as a bad thing. Think of it as a really good thing, because otherwise, if you're not naive. 
you're going to spend so long waiting to like create the perfect idea or the perfect time to launch the idea it would probably never happen which is as you would know like the case for most people that have good ideas um and then yeah then we came back from thailand and we ordered we we found out you know how to get the machine to make the product this this frozen pan finally after like weeks of searching found it on in china on, on alibaba like this ice pan oh, alibaba that's like alibaba. every entrepreneur's yeah. like yeah. best friend <laughs> every business yeah. i'm like oh let me just go and see how much it costs and then um so yeah found the machines and then it was like we needed to like learn how to make the ice cream so we basically i've obviously i come from a bit of an engineering background practical background so i figured out like if i get some uh, dry ice, which is really cold ice, put it underneath a baking tray, I can kind of like replicate the process a bit. So I did that, I was at, still at home, so I'm, you know, I was with my mum making ice cream, I went to go get this dry ice, put it under a baking tray and started trying things like milk, cream, like oat milk, like loads of different things. Nothing was really working though, so I, I just, because I had no instruction manual, nothing to go by, so I was literally just pouring random stuff in this pan, trying to see what would roll and what would work. Eventually we came to some sort of concoction um, like milk, sugar, and something else. Um, and then the pan, then like, we got everything to a certain level. We brought like a little gazebo with like some branding on it. We got like, we had a very basic, basic, basic setup. And then the pans arrived from China. We, the first day before our event, the first ever event, um, which was like a little horse show thing in the countryside. Um, so we stayed up all that night just learning how to make these ice creams and the videos now what like i've got the videos on my phone and they are absolutely hilarious like we have no idea what to do we're just like just like making an absolute mess trying to make these ice cream rolls but we ended up we we we, we got there in the end like we stayed up all night so the following morning when we arrived at the event we could like we could do a couple rolls and make it look okay i mean it, i would not let anyone serve it now um but yeah that was it really um just kind of and then from there on just kept learning making mistakes learning and just we started really small and then just gradually built and built and built 